Hello, welcome back to the land of Kakiak. My name is Laurel and I educate my three sons at home using the Robinson curriculum as the base of our education. This is a video on a little bit of my RC plus tendencies. So I do add on science and history because my state requires it and I um, had a video up a little bit ago where I was sharing my planning for ocean anatomy to do that as a unit. So I alternate history and science back and forth as a family subject. So today I thought I would just run you through our ocean anatomy lesson and I'll walk you through it. Here we go. So I like to start the lesson with a reading from a living book. Being acquainted. Back at the bathhouse under which Danny Meadow Mouse had found shelter were sand dunes. Back of these sand dunes was an old pasture. This in turn ended on the edge of a great marsh. Ah, and here's who they met. He met this little bird right here. He's a sandpiper or a mud peep. All right, I'm just bringing up this document where I have pre-saved all of the um, YouTube videos I want to be able to have the kids watch during their lessons for this unit on oceans. This one is on ocean basins. All right, here the boys are. They have finished watching that, I think it was like a seven or eight minute video on ocean basins. And we read our assigned reading in the ocean anatomy textbook. And they are just working on no picking pages here. You can see they have to share a book. I only have one. Um, but it teaches them to share, right? <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and set up for our activity. Before we start, since our activity has to do with how salt water is made, I had Everett grab our big ocean reference book and go to the index right in the back. It's good for them to learn how to find information. And you found salt water. So it referred into pages 64 and 65, the global water cycle. So I think we will just leave this open here for now and we'll refer to it after our activity. Okay, so I have three plates, some, uh, just kind of like lukewarm faucet water and the activity from ocean anatomy called for peppermint candies but I didn't have any but this does have dye in it you know Benadryl does so that's what you're really wanting to see is the dye okay so let's take a look at the activity for today Are you guys ready yes Bo are you gonna come do the activity with us yeah. oh. okay. okay get your stool over here okay so I'm going to read this to you guys. Why is the ocean salty? The salinity, or how salty something is, of seawater is 35 parts per thousand. Okay boys, we are ready for our um, activity. We just read the lesson in here talking about the water cycle and we talked about how um, salt is found in the earth's crust right we there's actually salt mines this is quartz but i was trying to show them that salt is a mineral it's, it comes like in rock form and it dissolves right it gets into smaller and smaller pieces it gets dissolved by rain and snow and carried to the ocean and like lakes and streams rivers and things then once it gets into the ocean it can't get back out right yeah. because even though the ocean water evaporates to make new clouds and new precipitation the salt doesn't come with it. So if we had a big bucket of salt water, we could let it sit outside and evaporate and eventually we'd be left with this at the bottom, right? And the salt in the ocean is the same type of salt that we use to season our food. But right now we're going to make a simple model of the earth's crust and the, how it, the salt dissolves and gets into the ocean. So let's say this is the water basin, right? Or the ocean basins, yeah. right? Okay, so I need to get, I'm gonna use my Benadryl. Everyone take your piece of Earth's crust and put it, oops, on your plate, which is the, is the Earth's uh, ocean basins, okay? All right, now, what is in the ocean basins? Water. Water. Okay, you pour just a little bit on yours, Will. 
get a little bit more bow. So you can already see, if you look really close, what's happening to that Benadryl? It's breaking. It's dissolving. Right? Oh my gosh, do you it's see? Do you see how far the pink is traveled out into the water? Yeah. So pretend that that pink is representing salt. And it really does do that. You want to put more on yours? Go ahead. And that is how salt gets into the ocean. Let's do a little, let's pretend like, watch, it's raining. <laughs> it, just, it just disappeared. Yeah. It breaks up and gets okay. carried down into the oceans, right? I want to take off my shirt, Greedy. Okay. Good job. Put it on the electric. Okay. It's raining. It's raining. Okay, so do you guys get the idea how salt dissolves, water dissolves it? Because <laughs> you got it a little bit wet, that's okay. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this book, and we'll just um, give ourselves a couple minutes to study this, and then we'll have lunch. And science is done for today. Good job, boys. <laughs>